Hello everybody, this is Charlie Root, the artist formerly known as RootBSD, and I uh, thought I'd just make a quick little video just kind of going over some things. I'm sure you guys, some of you guys might be wondering, you know, why is he not making OpenBSD videos anymore? Um, fact of the matter is that I just kind of, just kind of grew out of it. I don't know, just slowly drifted away from uh, using it or being interested. I just kind of and I just moved on, you know, my, my taste changed. I, I really, you know, in the process of making those videos, I really got addicted to media creation, uh, creating media, doing video editing. Uh, and then I just started really like getting interested in the music aspect of it. And then I kind of, I kind of, I don't know how it happened, but I, I just kind of went through a series of life events and I ended up installing mix on some like little, uh, little raspberry Pi card. And, uh, uh, I made my first ever DJ mix and I sent it to a friend on the internet and he's like, oh, this is awesome. You should keep making these. And I just, I kept making DJ mixes and I just, oh, and then, you know, eventually I got my first uh, hardware controller and, uh, you know, had fun ever since. And, but, you know, uh, over time, you know, my mixes, I wanted to do more and more like, mu you know, high quality music, exclusive music and that stuff, you know, it costs money. And I, you know, I, I, I do this for me. It's an, it's a nice hobby, you know, and I, I do it at home, but you know, I, after a certain point, you know, I, I realize, you know, I, I think it's time that I start making my own music. So that's what I've been kind of venturing into. And I'll tell you, there, there is a bit of a, a learning curve, especially if you kind of want to be original and not, you know, some people just kind of throw money at the situation and uh, do, you know, they, uh, they invest in all this equipment and, uh, you know, uh, pre preset packs and plugin packs and, and, and you ex buy expensive plugins or, you know all that stuff and me i'm trying to kind of just kind of do it more you know on a budget so i that's why i i uh, i enjoy um kind of more obscure software i like old software old school DAWs. i like old ways of doing things this here is just school of buzz just school of buzz is a it's an open source oh i'm sorry it's not open source it's a freeware there are parts of it that are open source uh, the parts that you would need to build your own buzz machines but um, it's just freeware. It's a basically abandonware at this point. Um, but there is a community edition, and um, this thing is a modular tracker DAW, and it's super powerful. Like I, I can't even begin to describe how capable this this whole thing is. And it um, the the core the last build was in 2016, but the community has maintained these. They've added on uh, functionality and extensions to it over uh, over the years, um, and it has a lot of modern things in it like you can draw automation in envelopes and um uh you know it has a modern uh let me turn this off here let me I'll actually load up a project file right here so you can see this so and sorry if everything loads kind of slow i this computer has a nice CPU, lots of memory, but it has a very slow hard drive because I'm, I'm using like a really old mechanical hard drive. It works fine. It's just, it just, it takes a minute for things to load. Once everything gets loaded, you'll see that it's worth the wait, obviously. So the way everything's organized is that you have, when I say modular, is all, all your, you, you either have buzz machines, buzz controllers, or VST plugins, and these VST plugins are ran through a buzz machine called Pullock VSTI. And here, like, I'll bring up Vital. Now, this is Vital Synth. Hold on one second. It's just there we go. And it is probably one of the most sophisticated software synths that you can get on the market. Period. And the best part about it is that it's actually free. Now you can. Uh, donate or you, what what they have is they have like a five dollar a month club where you get like special access to uh, preset packs and uh, uh, early access downloads what I have here is the early access uh, developers uh, um, binary uh, the VST uh, they, they offer uh, two and three so you can use this in um, you can use this in open MPT as well because it is uh, it does have a VST2 version Okay, sorry about that. I had to reconfigure OBS Studio. Um, so yeah, so this is my main, you know, uh, kind of a starter setup uh, right here. And what I have here is I have Vital Synthesizer going through a, uh, this is basically a bass enhancer. It's called uh, Love End uh, through Spacer, which is a kind of a space effects reverb kind of enhancer plugin. It's free. Um, this is a 
uh, Buzz Machine called uh, Masterizer 2. Uh, this will help kind of master and EQ the audio signal coming through. And I send this through a tube EQ right here called, uh, I can't pronounce this, but it's the Enceladus. And it, uh, I always like to use these uh, these tubes or transistors. Uh, this is on the low, the mid, and the high, I believe. And this is the SPL Iron. Uh, this is a great uh, mastering compressor. I uh, just put it on there for character. Uh, usually I would use this in a mastering session, but uh, this is just fine also just using it in your uh, in your mix. Um, yeah, uh, it's a really cool program. This is where you uh, go to uh, your, this is called the uh, pattern editor, the modern pattern editor. You uh, do kind of, let's see here, let's find some patterns to look at. Why they're not coming up? Oh, there we go. So actually, there, you, you can use very simple patterns. So here, I'll show you how this sounds. Right here. That's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Sorry about the stuttering. Uh, let me shut that thing up. This... There we go. Yeah, so uh, it's just because I'm streaming with OBS. Uh, this this stuff is very CPU intensive. Usually, I turn everything off when I run this this uh, software. But you can see it's it's actually uh, vital is is very powerful and you can do a lot of cool things with it. Oh yeah, so let me turn that back up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just let me get, fix this real quick. Just a little uh, preview of what I'm doing and what I'm working on. Um, yeah, so uh, let me know uh, what kind of content would you like to see on this channel. Uh, I, I'm into making electronic music and I'm into DJing. Uh, I just do this all on a computer, but I do have, um, let's see here, let me show you. Okay, so yeah, I do use the Arturia Minilab MK2 and I love this device. It's an awesome device and I highly recommend it. You can get it on eBay for, I got mine for $65 in almost perfect shape. Well, anyways, uh, that's, I guess, it. I just kind of wanted to give you guys a heads up of what I'm up to. I'm working on a new he, uh, EP. I'm trying to get it done by Halloween, but if not, you know, I'm sorry. But I, I really want to produce something really nice for you guys. And uh, I'm also working on a new DJ mix. So, uh, just, you know, just, just, uh, just, I just love the music. I do this as a passion. I do this for me. You know, if maybe I might try to, you know, make a, make a little bit of a, you know, pocket change off of it, but I don't, I doubt I'll ever quit my day job, but you know, that's not what it's about. It's about, um, it's about the art form and expressing yourself. And I even, I've even been writing some songs and I even possibly might have a, a, a vocalist lined up for a future, uh, like a liquid kind of track. So stay tuned. I got a lot of cool things coming up. Anyways, Charlie Root out.